All right, day two. I didn't realize I have a specific uh, process for SEMA, but I guess I do. So day two, I'm gonna go and do uh, Central Hall, Performance Pavilion, Westgate, uh, so I have to finish up Central Hall. Uh, Westgate, uh, what else do I need to do? And uh, South, probably start to dig into South a little bit. South is a lot of tires and wheels and stuff that really isn't, isn't uh, my thing, but they just don't, like the good wheel companies really aren't there. So that'll, that's what I'll be doing today. And then Thursday I'll generally go. So to, to tomorrow I would go and start to dig into detail and start to talk about, you know, what I'm, what I'm gonna do next with uh, different manufacturers. And like, I, for some reason I've got channel lock on the brain. I've got Kaiser on the brain. Uh, and that's kind of what, I, what, I've, what I've been thinking about here, uh, about what I wanna go spend some time figuring out how to, how to get I'll show Chicago pneumatic again I'm almost um, this is the third year I'm gonna to talk to them they always have new people so none of them know will remember me anyway so uh, Chicago pneumatic tools as well so I'm gonna head over it's uh, see it's 723 uh, so I slipped to about 615 today so an hour longer I really need to edit the video from yesterday but I just I do I was thinking, man, I mean, let's just, I'll go a little late, but I figured, why waste the time? Let's, you know, there's only one SEMA, it's only four days, let's do it. Uh, so I'm heading over, uh, you know, get some breakfast downstairs, and then heading over uh, to get in uh, to get an early start. All right, let's take a stroll around the West Gate. Oh boy, we'll just skip over that. But this is uh, where a lot of new, newer to SEMA anyway, places come, or businesses come old double boy and get me one of those for the garage these cabinets are pretty interesting from Haley really really styled you know rather costly but I like this countertop type it's really cool like indestructible so these are these are pretty legit cabinets all lockable and they have things like the stainless here Really nice. Some other versions. Oh boy, good old diamond plate. And skip all that. It's pretty cool. So these, this kind of like crinkle, whatever this is called, powder coating is really cool. So yeah, I need to talk to these guys. They're really interesting to uh, learn about. They, I think they're pretty forthright with how they make stuff. But this is the company that, one of the companies that makes a lot of the chemicals in the industry. A lot of them. So I just spent, I don't know, an hour at B&B, the B&B booth, and uh, with Derek and Adam and uh, Chris from the B&B. I'm gonna fly out to, to Denver and spend some time with Chris the chemist. He's the, you know, he's the, the mad scientist behind many, many, many products in the industry and talking about you know, the specifics of it and, and, and talking about some of these you know, spray waxes and sealants versus an actual you know, resin-based, solvent-based coating delivery system versus water-based and uh, things like uh, fluorescence versus um, uh, phosphorescence and things like that, some of the things they're working on. So anyway, I spent, I wish I would have captured all of that because the conversation was amazing. So uh, I'm gonna go and uh, hopefully we'll be able to capture that on video in the future, maybe early next year, of digging into some of the, some of the science behind these products from you know, one of the biggest you know, blenders in the world. So that was super cool. All right, we're gonna keep moving. So stack will be putting on my, uh, my Corvette next week. It has that tools, a very interesting organization system. What the uh, what does it feel like? So these are another tool manufacturer that I'd highly considered versus Sonic. Really nice stuff. I think these are the tools that Porsche uses at their facilities. They do make nice looking. I believe they're German made. Tools. Yeah, Porsche Motorsport. Cool stuff. Cool. 
Yeah. Especially since I saw a lot of um, Swiss Tracks flooring. Yes. Neolene, yeah. it's called. It's called um, Soft Knees. Let Soft me, Knees. Yeah, yeah, their website. So they're oh. called Working Concepts. Um, it's, That's pretty neat. Well, maybe I should just buy them from you. No, 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 no. Yeah, but for something like thing. this, you would just, you know, I don't want to put myself in the middle of something like that. Yeah. So See? this this is super genius. I always struggle with this when I'm doing coating removal. Yeah. Is knowing which sides. So always fold in quarters and then you have eight sides of the towel to work with. Because you can flip it inside out. And so Ian from Auto Fiber has come up with this solution where you number it and then we can put an obsessed garage logo on there. I'm we sure, could, yeah, we? absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and then then you'll you'll keep things organized. It's such a shame though, you take such a nice towel You'd want to repurpose it, you know, use it for cleaning something else after your coating is done. You know? Yeah, yeah. So you, you you want to discard your towel, depending on the coating you're using. Well, yeah, yeah, lot, like, lots of people are soaking them. Um, yeah. You know, in like an APC solution. To, well, you have a you have an umbilical cord right to the pros, you know, and the yeah. guys that they're just can't. Yeah. You know, they they're trying to be efficient and make a living off well, of this. Absolutely. So guys, yeah. tell me the problem that they're having, right? Like, yeah. How do I try to track my size? Guys are marking using a sharpie or yeah, you yeah. know marking a corner as they go, and then the, one of the problems, like guys are smelling the towel to see which side they've already used, right? <laughs> which is not good. not exactly sign. Yeah, that's right. not exact science. <laughs> That's cool, so, man. Yeah. Oh, this it, is cool. Yeah, so is this microfiber? Is this suede? Yeah, this is micro, just suede microfiber. Yeah, so it just comes out. And it's for storing your, your towels. Yeah, so this one's for dirty towels. And so what yeah. happened was with this is we made it. I kind of wanted just to test and see what people thought of the concept, right? And everyone liked the concept. And the mobile yeah. guys were like, well, I can fit this in my mobile rig. And so that's yeah. why we made a few for these. A little tote. Yeah. For the totes, yeah. Smart. And so these will be good, too, for mobile guys who are just organizing with their clean towels. Yeah. Right? You still got the you still got the monopoly on the market, Micro Restore. It's by yeah. far the best product in the world. Yeah, it's a great product. Man, that product, it's like 15 years old we created it. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Power drawer. So uh, this is a, a icon, a new. Is this a new solution from Tower for Freight? I've never seen it there. It is new. That's cool. It, it is looks new. Rolled out about two months ago. Got it's it. Not even in all the stores yet. Yeah. Really, really nice. It's not going to be stocked there. It's free delivery to your home shop. Got it. Uh, it's just too dang heavy. Interesting. Yeah, really solid. I'm surprised. I wouldn't expect something this, you know, no offense, but this nice at uh, you know Harbor Freight. Well, I'm, we're not getting rid of any of our U.S. General or our Yukon price points. Yeah. We, this is a different application. It's yeah. A different need. I guess they're rolling out a whole new line of tools at a uh, higher end line at Harbor Freight. Awesome. Looking at uh, Hedson. Hedson is what it's called. Yeah. Hedson. So yeah, Hedson IR lamps. lamps. Talking about the infrared. IRT, IRT heads and got it. If you're talking to anybody, just mention IRT. Got it. it so I'm interested in. I, I'm going to need some sort of. I would like some sort of IR curing solution. The other thing that you can use IR for is uh, water spot removal. Oh, kind of yeah. restore the. What you're trying to do with water spot removal is restore the paint to the same conditions that captured the water spot. Yeah, so yeah. the paint will kind of loosen and release, yeah, and then I can probably. lightly polish yeah, it off. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, so that's something that I'm interested in having, something cool like this. The problem is you, you need to use this like once a year and I don't have anywhere to put it. But also for coatings, well, you IR coating, cure a coating. Using it on all of them. I mean, it yeah. the size. It's just uh, extremely yeah. fast, very efficient, cost effective from an energy it, point of view. Well, and then your coating, your coating ends up being yeah. Oh, yeah. more solid. It's, it's done, yeah. Yeah, you release yeah, the solvents nice a little differently. Here. So I, I'm down with that. You know, the whatever the Type R or whatever they call that thing. The R, C8R, the race car. But the other one, pretty much the ugliest car ever built. Outside of the Pontiac Aztec. If you could see my face. God, that thing is freaking ugly. I'll just hold the camera here. So, pump standard, four inch wheel gap for you. That's standard. This one's bull crappy, they lowered it for sure. Only three inch wheel, only three inch wheel cap. Yeah, you could lift it off like the other. Unless, well, maybe this is the convertible. I don't freaking know. Pump standard with the uh, ridiculous square steering wheel. It's the stupidest thing ever. 
and uh, and a free Camaro rear end for you. Free installation of a Camaro rear end. Yay! It's all you, Dave. I'll get you one. Right company booth there. Bigger and bigger. Keep representing. Oh, there's Freddie. Freddie's here. Just say hi. So this is the clarity coat that we worked on. You saw in the video. Hello, my friend. How are you? What's up, brother? Hi. You, you tired? You tired? Work in the booth? Uh, no. I just I just started. You get the chance to go walk around and stuff? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. 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 I, I I saw saw everything. Car's done. This doesn't yes. look Tavares gray. This looks. This looks much, a little. Yeah, it looks a little, a little nicer. Yeah. Tavares gray. Yeah. These products are right up my alley. I need to get a hold of these. Well, this is something I'm really interested in testing and trying. I wonder what they're going to do in the U.S. here. Clearly, they're here, so I bet you they're 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 considering coming here. So the Boston Boo. We should have done three piece on the Corvette. That would have been uh, that would have been real tough. But some of the designs, like even this, I, I like. I like the styling of Boston. I think these might be my new my new wheel company. This Evo and this is what do you say? This is the Evo S or something or Evo R, or the lighter weight. But a lot of these designs, I like that. I like that. I like that. Obviously, that's not going to fit on anything with brakes. That deep concave, but some of these wheel, the designs are pretty sick. And of course, you know, I like the S21 that we put on my on my Corvette. Even on you know certain cars like an M3, that would look pretty sweet. Especially since Clawson let me down. I think I'm done with them. They still haven't called me back. And then these are the these. That's what I put on the, on the Corvette. I was hoping to see the S21 One uh, RS for the. I'm thinking about doing on the GT3. Yeah. So this is my next con. My next conquest. I love. I don't know why I love these tools, but I just do. Yeah. So good. So awesome. So Milwaukee might be in, Dave. They might be in. I, I did a little, see, I do the same pitch to the Germans and they look at me with a stare. The Americans, they get it. It just takes a little bit of convincing. So cool. We're gonna make this happen. I'm gonna become the second biggest Milwaukee dealer in the country behind Home Depot. It's gonna happen, I'm telling you. So I think the, uh, I think the exhaust is gonna have to go, the Corsa. We'll see how long it lasts, but these, the, the, the Billy Boat exhaust, I think everybody's telling me that they make, they're the deepest, deepest sounding, so maybe that's what I need to do. I don't know. Exhaust number two probably coming. You need to get me a, give me, get me a big cam here. Give me those gold, those gold cams. Copper cams. That does look nice. Oh yeah, new zippers. Dang it! I just bought a new one for my house. I guess I could sell it and get one of these. Yeah, the minute I saw it, I thought of you. I was like, Yeah, that's my style there. It looks clean. Yeah. Oh, the floor's that way too. You got the uh, imprint on the floor, and you also have the road right on the floor. So you use everything. Yeah. It just looks more finished. Yes. Black. Yeah, mine's just black. Mine, mine looks like bounce house. You know, like bounce house black. You know. Yeah. Or this one has got a bit more fit and finish to it. Black uh, on it. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Well, I guess mine will probably be for sale here soon, and then I'll have to get this one, and we'll have to video that. I need to build a darn garage is what I need to do, so I don't have to use one of these. But you still need that. Right? Yeah. That's true. Good point. Good point. So sorry, I'm uh, not doing a good job of the camera, but I hung out with uh, McGuire's guys for an hour or so, just chatting about life and detailing products and some of their new stuff and what we're what we're. Um, I'm meeting with them tomorrow about about you know what products I'm using and going over numbers and stuff like that. And they're right next to my beloved Corvette. Want to go look at the Corvette again? Because I don't. Everybody's giving me a hard time about the. Uh, the wheels that I got looking like BBS FIRs, but the problem is FIRs, they don't make a wheel that fits the darn Corvette, so I can't do it. So they don't make it, and if they did, the offsets wouldn't be very good. So I mean, you even look at like, you will even look at this car, look at the offsets. So that's my always been my problem with BBS, is that, see how it's, I think, sunk in. 
So you got these amazing FIRs, amazing wheels that don't freaking fit. They fit if you're an old man, but not if you're a grown-up. Like, cool guy, like I am. So that's that's always been the problem. But man, I love these the wheels. They're so good. They always look great. So I'm just kind of rolling through the... Dave and I are rolling through the Central Hall, finishing up all the suspension and wheels and intakes, aftermarket parts. It's weird this year because I don't have I don't like I don't have any parts that I need other than maybe an exhaust for the for the Corvette. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to make sure I buy a new car before SEMA next year, or I'm trying to chase down some some parts. Yeah, but it's you know it's attainable. I, I like these, man. I I'd be hard pressed to buy this over an R8 though, but I could rock this sucker. Maybe this will be my next car. I, I yeah, carbon fiber roof. This thing is freaking awesome, dude. I'm getting one of these. I just decided right now. This or a GT4? But I already have a GT3. So this is different. I did it. I don't know, man. I, I like this a lot. I'm liking it even more. This thing's pretty sick looking, though. If they made something like that, that could be Michelle's car. All right, it's uh, 8 p.m. ish here in uh, in Vegas, so like it's 11 o'clock my time. But uh, I just made it back. What a another crazy day. Uh, I didn't capture as much footage, but gosh, I just spent so much time with people. Um, you know, spent time with. Uh, the chemist from B&B, &B, which I'm really excited to uh, hopefully get out there and meet with Chris, spend a little time with uh, Derek, the CEO of Adams, and saw Adam from Adams Polishes, and then uh, spent uh, quite a bit of time with Dave Phillips talking chemistry, and, and um, uh, I think, I'm hoping that I made a good connection at Milwaukee, Milwaukee Tools, to be able to sell those. Uh, and then uh, just discovery after discovery, spent some time with uh, uh, from Trevor with Trevor from Ocean Autos, a friend of mine. Did uh, he did um, install of um, of a, a common in his garage? Go check out that video. Um, yeah, just met so many people, so many people that watched the videos. Hung out with my good friend uh, Dave. Um, Dave Plotz is here, and we had we had dinner. And my first Wagyu steak. Uh, which uh, I wish I could have that uh, that couple hundred bucks back because it wasn't that good. Um, yeah, it was a great day. I'm beat. I'm gonna go. To, I need to edit some video, but I'm just gonna crash. Anyway, thanks for coming along today. Uh, day three tomorrow, so I'll, I'm gonna go over to Apex, uh, talk with the Cox Hose Reel guys, capture some footage from there, and then go back and start uh, wrapping up, kind of going and seeing all the things that I missed. Uh, and then probably Friday, I'll spend most of the day digging into uh, uh, some some details or some of the detailing and and um, who knows what else I'll find, but uh, dig into some of the other, other products that I've been missing. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, catch you tomorrow.